Welcome to the demo of Caller by Behavioral Signals. The first thing a user will see when they log into the system is this dashboard screen. This dashboard screen, for demo purposes, is quite generic. It has campaigns, agents, calls, recent campaigns, most active agents, latest calls. But this is configurable depending on what each customer wants. Obviously, a customer support call center might be interested in completely different metrics than an outbound sales-oriented organization. So this is what the dashboard is intended to do. Looking at the left-hand side, we have a few navigation buttons, campaigns, agents, calls, and bookmarks. This is kind of stepping through our different levels of aggregation. So let's go ahead and take a look at campaigns. Here in campaigns, this is typically going to be used to separate categories of calls made by agents in specific verticals, for example, legal or marketing, or agents selling different products or services. You might have a campaign for a brand new product or a different service that's new, or even perhaps a promotion for the month. But for the purposes of the demo, what we've done here is we've separated calls based on their business outcome. So here we have sale and no sale. These are example calls from one of our customers. And then we have customer support outcomes of CSAT, high and low. And what we can see looking at the top level of all these campaigns, it's basic information like number of calls in the campaign, the average talk time broken down by agent, customer overlap, and silence. We have the average customer tone. This is going to be the tone of voice that the customer brings to the conversation. That's in this case negative, positive, neutral. And we can immediately see that in the no sale versus sale use case, there's a lot more negative tone to the customer's voice. In the no sale use case, similarly with customer support in the low CSAT, there's more negativity than in the high CSAT cases. And then we have tone change here. And this is a really interesting metric because this is the change of a customer's tone of voice from the first 30 to 45 seconds of a conversation to the middle, sort of meat of the conversation. That could be minutes long where the agent and customers are talking about the issues. And what we can see here is in a sale conversation, the agents are going to be very good at transitioning a customer from either a negative or neutral tone of voice to a much more positive tone of voice. And so this could be a great way to determine which calls to look in, into to find what was the magic that the sales rep brought to the table to really incite that change of tone from the customer, from the beginning of the conversation to the middle of the conversation. So if we click into the sales campaign here, you can see at the top we have an overview of the campaign. You've got the number of calls, the average tone change, average talk time broken down by agent, and so on, average customer tone, and this is great. This helps us kind of figure out what's the baseline. And so here you might say, okay, let's take a look at Matt's calls. He seems to have a lot of talk time relative to everybody else, and certainly relative to the average. So let's go ahead and click into here. And you can see that he's got quite a few calls that are way above average on tone change. And so it might be interesting to go ahead and click into one of those, take a look at the call screen. And so what we have here is the call screen. On the left-hand side, we have some basic statistics about the call we have. The talk time for the agent, agent score, overall tone, customer, talk time, satisfaction, probability to buy, overall tone, overall quality. Now, it's important to point out that several of these metrics are predictions, especially probability to buy, overall quality, that sort of thing, satisfaction, and so each of these metrics are going to be custom tuned for each customer depending on what their use case is. We took a sample of the calls and according to outcomes, tuned our models appropriately for this demo. So here, we obviously have a sale and you have this probability at 42%. Down here, we have agent emotions and agent behaviors, customer emotions and customer behaviors, and you can see that they're fairly similar. There's a lot of sort of empathy happening here where the engagement is very similar. The politeness is quite similar, very little frustration. There's perhaps a little bit when they're talking about pain points and that sort of thing. And what we have up here is the view of the call itself. And we have the ability to play it in a given point. These are indications of the emotional behaviors exhibited at different points in time between the agents going to be on top 
and the customers can be in the bottom. And then here we have sort of a spectrograph of the conversation and a little couple of snippets of the transcript. And these are not intended to be consumed as the full transcript of the conversation. These are more sort of indicators to get kind of give you the gist of what's happening at any given point. So let's take a look at how we might navigate through a call using search. Since this is a successful call, I might be interested in finding out what happened when we first brought up the concept of price. And so what this does is it searches the transcript and takes us straight to the point in the conversation where price was first mentioned. And here you can see that this is where the agent was talking about price. And if we look at that moment down here, we can see that both the agent and the customer around this point in time are both posi positive and polite. And then right after that, the next reading that we have is both positive and polite. And after that, engage positive and polite. So what we're seeing is in particular call and, th and the discussion around price, it's all positive and nobody's having a negative reaction to money. So that's perhaps an interesting indicator. So then if this is a call that we want to save as perhaps a great example that we like to train our team with, we have this bookmark button. And so by clicking on this, it gives me options to add to an existing category, or I can create a new one. And then those would wind up here under the bookmark section. You can see here we have three different categories. Here we can click and have access to our calls. Now, this is great for finding the calls, but what if we want to coach a specific agent? So here, if I sort by calls, I want to maybe look at Matt again. You can see that he's got a very high tone change relative to the rest of the team. So I can click into Matt, and this is a great screen for coaching an individual rep, because what we have up here is an aggregation of all of Matt's metrics across all of his calls, whether it's sale or no sale or whatever the, ca the campaign may be. We can have a perspective to Matt's overall performance. And here we can see it's eight calls contributing to these metrics, where we have an average tone change of positive 10%. In the average talk time, you can see that Matt tends to talk a lot more in these calls, and maybe that's a good thing. We've got average customer tone. We can see that Matt's very good at keeping his customer's tone very positive. And so from here on, perhaps we would want to drill down into individual calls and figure out now what was that magic that Matt brought to the table to create this positive tone and most of his customers' conversations. Or so you see right here, there are one call in particular where the tone change is negative 28%. We've got a lot of negativity, so perhaps we want to dig into this call and find out what went wrong as sort of a coaching point from that on. And then, of course, all of these metrics are available in a CSV format where I can just download this very easily and do my own sort of metrics. Also, we have calls here. This is our lowest level of aggregation, where you might want to come here and grab the CSV for all the agents and do your own Excel file. And then finally, the bookmarks option is perhaps where if you're doing coaching or auditing of any kind, you might want to come here and have a quick, easy access to the calls that were interesting for whatever the category. That concludes our demo of Caller by Behavioral Signals. Thank you very much for your time.